Manual Reprocessing Instructions for Pentax Video Duodenoscopes Step 1. Wipe the insertion tube. Immediately after the procedure, with the endoscope still connected to the processor, wipe the insertion tube with a lint-free cloth saturated with enzymatic solution that has been diluted in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions. Wipe in a downward motion from the control body root brace to the distal end of the endoscope. Do not pull the flexible tube through your hands in order to avoid potential impact damage to the distal end. Step 2. Pre-clean the channels. Holding down and releasing the suction valve button, alternately draw air and diluted enzymatic solution into the suction channel by dipping the distal tip in and out of the solution. Observe the suction tubing at the PVE connector until fluid runs clear. Make sure to increase the air pump setting to maximum and turn the water bottle lever to the drain or down position. Next, insert the distal end of the insertion tube into diluted enzymatic solution and cover the air water valve until a steady stream of bubbles is noticeable. Depress the air water valve until the water completely drains. A steady stream of bubbles should be noticed at the distal end. Step 3. Attach the soaking cap. Disconnect the suction tube and water bottle tubing from the PVE connector. Remove the endoscope from the processor and attach the appropriate soaking cap. Make sure to align the arrows and lock the cap by quarter turning it clockwise. Step 4. Prepare to leak test. Detach all removable components from the endoscope and place in enzymatic solution. Confirm that the leakage tester needle is on zero and verify that there is no moisture inside the cap, gauge, or tubing and that the needle moves without stopping. Close the pressure relief valve, pinch the tubing, and pump the tester into the green zone. If the tube is fully occluded, the leak tester will hold the pressure and the needle will not move. When the tubing is released from a pinched position, the gauge needle should drop. If the needle stays in the green zone when pressure is released, the leakage tester may be damaged and another leakage tester should be used. Step 5. Perform the dry leak test. Attach the leakage tester to the venting connector and close the pressure relief valve. Pressurize the endoscope until the needle on the gauge moves into the green zone. Ensure that the control knob locks are in a free moving position or unlocked, and deflect the distal tip in all directions. Observe the leakage tester gauge. If the indicator needle drops rapidly, a leak may be present. Stop and refer to the Pentax decontamination procedures. Do not proceed with the wet leak test, cleaning, or disinfection until you know that it is safe to do so. Step 6. Perform the wet leak test. Fill the sink with clean room temperature water. With the leakage tester still attached, move the endoscope into the sink and immerse it completely. The leakage tester must be kept out of the water at all times. Next, deflect the distal tip in all directions while alternately looking at the leak tester gauge for movement of the needle and looking for bubbles in the water, particularly on the exterior of the bending rubber. If you discover bubbles that do not stop after a few seconds, remove the endoscope from the water and reprocess the instrument as per the Pentax position statement KN-111 Revision D, Decontamination of Returned Endoscopes. Whenever you remove the leakage tester or add release pressure, ensure that the PVE connector is completely out of the water. Failure to follow this step can introduce fluids into the internal cavity of the endoscope which in turn can cause damage to the instrument. Step 7. Prepare to manually clean. If no leak has been detected in the endoscope, remove the PVE connector from the water and turn the pressure relief valve counterclockwise until the gauge needle returns to zero. 
remove the leakage tester from the venting connector and place the PVE connector back into the sink. Add enzymatic detergent solution and allow the endoscope and its components to soak in accordance with the detergent manufacturer's recommendations. While soaking, wipe the endoscope with a lint-free cloth from the control body to the distal end and down the umbilical to the PVE connector. Do not pull the flexible insertion tube or umbilical through your hands. To know which appropriate enzymatic solution to use, always refer to the Pentax Compatible Reprocessing Systems Agent document. Step 8. Brush the endoscope's ports. Starting from the suction nipple at the PVE connector, begin brushing all ports by inserting the small reusable Pentax brush. Be sure to follow the Pentax reprocessing manual instructions. Continue the brushing process on the air, water, and suction valve cylinders at the control body, including the biopsy inlet channel. Remember to brush behind and around the elevator lift mechanism. When possible, make sure that the endoscope is kept completely below the fluid surface. Remember that this cleaning process is valid only if Pentax cleaning brushes are utilized. Before attempting to use non-Pentax cleaning brushes, please consult with your risk management department to ensure that the brush supplier has validated its endoscope cleaning procedure in accordance with relevant regulatory guidelines. Step 9. Clean the endoscope's components. Clean and brush all the endoscope components one by one as described in the Pentax reprocessing manual, making sure to depress the valves to access recessed areas. Inspect the O-rings prior to use and replace any that are chipped or damaged. Replace the worn or damaged items to avoid spitback and or leakage. Step 10. Brush the endoscope's channels. Using the long disposable channel cleaning brush, brush the suction port from the PVE connector at least two times or until the bristles emerge from the suction channel cylinder visibly clean. Ensure that the blue tip is inserted first. Pass the same brush through the hole in the bottom of the suction cylinder on the control body at least two more times or until the bristles emerge from the distal end of the insertion tube visibly clean. If the biopsy channel is kinked or resistance is encountered at any point, do not apply force to insert or remove the brush. Send your endoscope into Pentax for repair in order to avoid potential damage. Remember that disposable brushes should only be used once. Step 11. Flush the channels with diluted enzymatic solution.